Hello, Anselm Griffin here again with another YouTube tutorial featuring MATLAB. Uh, today we're looking at a nice simple differential equation as outlined by this lecturer here. There's just there, that's the, just up there. And he describes, if I just scroll down a bit here, you have a tank, large surface area there, small aperture, water starts to flow out. And he does the physics and uh, the maths. What I mean by the maths is he does the integration. And I'm going to let you read it. In case uh, it disappears like the, this file, I have it, a PDF list, so that will appear as well. I haven't made, and I'll give him the full credit for it there. And there's this real life experiment. We have the uh, cylindrical tank, small aperture, and the water is pouring in. And you can read that at your leisure. Okay. Let's go in here a sec, just try and get rid of that. So there we are. We let's look at the program. Have it there. There's took his picture, but and the HCT is minus k the square root of h. It's like the falling parachute problem. We clear the command screen. We clear all the variables. We close any open windows or close any open figures. The initial height is 0.1285 meters. Time span is not to 52 and a half. I had to play around to that. If you start going past 52 and a half seconds, uh, the, the approximation becomes complex. You start getting the square root of minus one. And the reason why that is the height is zero at 52 and a half, or as near as makes no difference. Here's the magic line. It'll be the same for every differential equation that you do. The output is time and the height. The ODE 45, you invoke the Runga Kutta uh, fourth order method. First thing you do is bath ODE. That contains the differential equation. The time span is not to 10, not to 20, not to 30, not to 52 and a half. And the initial condition here is 0.1285. It returns T and H, so that's obviously time, and then the estimated height. And then we just did an old simple plot there. Let's look at the differential equation. So we called it here. And we called the function called bat ODE. Uh, a couple of things to note here. You have to, it's a function, so you have to declare it as a function by typing function. The output, yeah. the name of the function, bat ODE, and just be absolutely sure about this, bat ODE must be the same way as you name the file. So it has to be the same, uppercase with uppercase, lowercase with lowercase. Uh, there is the rate constant, 0.0136. And there's the actual differential equation itself. Uh, very like the falling parachutist, like extremely like it. Go back to here. We ran the program and we got those figures there. Just make that graph a little bigger now. And we just do a little bit of guesswork here. That'll have to do, took me a little bit of clicking. So what I'm trying to do here is that at 14.75 seconds, the height is 0 .66, 0 0.066. Now half the height would be 0 0.062, but because I'm having difficulties to getting the, just the XY to show up, but we'll 
say we're very near half. So around 15 seconds, it's at half height. Or, and if it's half height, it's also half volume. And then as you go on down here, it starts to taper off here. So we were there. Let's see if I can get that up again. Can't quite get it again. But if I remember, the point I'm trying to get across is around 14 seconds. Um, Yeah, it's just finicky. I'm not okay, but around 14 seconds, 15 seconds, half the height is gone, half the volume is gone. Okay, so nice and short and simple. Thanks very much for listening.